If you are looking to see larger-than-life crocodiles in Costa Rica, I insist you make a stop at the famous Tarcoles River. This is on the way to Playa Jaco, Manuel Antonio, and the South Pacific. So if your Costa Rica itinerary has you heading that way, you may as well take a few moments to check out this very well-known river. As an aside, about 16 years ago when I was on my way to Los Suenos Resort, I was feeding these crocodiles from the bridge, and my footage was featured on Animal Planet. While that is now banned, I enjoyed my moment in the sun and was one of many who lowered chickens to watch the massive crocodiles of Costa Rica battle for a meal. What to know about the Tarcoles River? This river spans over 2,000 kilometers and leads right to the Pacific Ocean. Its beginning is where two unique rivers join forces which creates the border to one side of the Carrara National Park. It's wild to me that wildlife thrives in this river due to the contamination that exists in the Tarcolis River. However, on the bright side, the river assists in irrigating agricultural lands and acts as a method to generate electricity. Lake Arenal is man-made and serves the same purpose. Do not enter this river under any circumstance. With that disclaimer, make sure to check out the famous Costa Rica Crocodile Bridge and see something you won't soon forget. The Tarcolis River Crocodile Bridge, also known as the Tarcolis River Bridge, or Puente de Cocodrilo, is a sight to behold. This highway bridge, located on the Carretera Pacfica Fernández Oreamuno, provides visitors with a unique opportunity to observe one of nature's most formidable predators, the American crocodile, in action. The bridge overlooks the Tarcoles River, home to the world's highest population of crocodiles. This intriguing wildlife spectacle has turned the bridge into a significant tourist destination. Dozens of these prehistoric beasts can be spotted lounging in the river below from the bridge's vantage point. Wildlife at Tarcoles River while the star attraction of the Tarcoles River is undoubtedly the American crocodile, the river's ecosystem is teeming with other fascinating creatures as well, including the spectacled caiman. Expect to see a diverse array of wildlife like birds, iguanas, and other reptiles that have made the river their home. The American crocodiles, Crocodilus acutus, also known as huge crocodiles, are the undisputed kings of the Tarcoles River. They typically range in size from 10-15 feet, 3-4.5 meters long. Despite the river being one of the most polluted in Costa Rica, these resilient predators thrive. They feed on a varied diet that includes birds, small to medium-sized mammals, turtles, crabs, snails, frogs, the importance of the Tarcoles River. Despite its pollution, the Tarcoles River supports a broad range of wildlife and irrigates agricultural lands, marking its significance. It's located near popular tourist destinations like Manuel Antonio National Park, making it a hub of biodiversity in the region. Unfortunately, the river is highly contaminated due to urban development and untreated sewage from Costa Rica's Central Valley, making it one of the polluted rivers in the region. Planning your visit to Crocodile Bridge Planning your visit to the Crocodile Bridge can enhance your experience, regardless of whether you're a seasoned wildlife enthusiast or a curious traveler. Knowing about the location, accessibility, visiting hours, and fees associated with visiting the bridge can help you make the most of your trip. The Crocodile Bridge is located on Route 34, near the town of Tarcoles. It's completely wheelchair accessible, ensuring everyone can enjoy this unique spectacle. Location and accessibility. The Crocodile Bridge is located approximately 73 kilometers, 45 miles, from San Jose near Hacienda Nosavar, over the Tarcoles River, a prime location for wildlife enthusiasts. It's a straightforward drive of about an hour and 20 minutes from San Jose, depending on traffic. To reach the bridge from San Jose, the best route is to take Route 1, then Route 27 towards Jaco and Punta Arenas, and finally, drive on Route 34, where the bridge is located. If you're already in Jaco, you're just a quick 20-minute drive north from the thrill of the Crocodile Bridge. Visiting hours and fees One of the perks of visiting the Crocodile Bridge is that there are no specific visiting hours. However, for the best viewing experience, mornings and early afternoons are recommended. While the bridge itself is free to visit, parking can be a consideration. 
There are free parking options available, but be aware of nearby restaurants that might charge for parking, safety precautions, and responsible tourism. While the visit to the Crocodile Bridge is an exciting adventure, prioritizing your safety and the welfare of the wildlife is essential. Here are some safety precautions to observe and promote responsible tourism. 1. Keep an eye on your car security. 2. Stay alert on the bridge and avoid leaning over the railing. 3. Do not feed or provoke the crocodiles. 4. Respect the wildlife and their natural habitat. 5. Follow any instructions or guidelines provided by park staff, does and don'ts. A few basic rules need to be followed when visiting the Crocodile Bridge. Avoid risky behavior such as hanging off the bridge or climbing over the railing. These actions can put you in danger and disturb the wildlife. Adults should also keep an eye on children at all times to avoid any accidents. Supporting local businesses. Besides observing wildlife, visiting the Crocodile Bridge also presents an opportunity to support local businesses. Nearby, you'll find several restaurants offering delicious local cuisine. One such place is Hacienda No Savar, Restaurant Nambi, which is highly recommended. Exploring the surrounding area. The adventure doesn't stop at the Crocodile Bridge. The surrounding area offers a plethora of attractions and activities worth exploring. From the biodiverse Carrara National Park to coastal towns with beautiful beaches, there's something for everyone. Carrara National Park. A stone's throw away from the Crocodile Bridge lies the Carrara National Park, a haven for nature and wildlife lovers. The park boasts an array of hiking trails, such as Laguna Mandrica and Main Ranger Station Trails, where you can enjoy the park's diverse flora and fauna. Birdwatchers will be in paradise with the chance to spot species such as raptors, double-striped thickney, and toucans. Nearby beaches and coastal towns. If you're more of a beach person, don't worry. The area surrounding the Crocodile Bridge has got you covered. With popular beach destinations like Playa Hermosa and Playa Herradura nearby, you can enjoy activities like surfing, paddleboarding, and swimming. For surfing enthusiasts, Jocko's lively surfing scene is not to be missed guided tours, and boat excursions. You might want to get a closer look at these magnificent creatures, even though observing the crocodiles from the bridge is a thrilling experience. Various guided tours and boat excursions offer the opportunity to safely venture into the crocodile's natural habitat, providing a more intimate wildlife experience. Tour options from different locations. Whether you're starting from San Jose, Jaco, Punta Arenas, or the bridge itself, there are various tour options available. Each tour offers a unique perspective of the Tarcoles River and its rich wildlife, catering to different interests and budgets. Transportation to Crocodile Bridge With several transportation options to choose from, Getting to the Crocodile Bridge is relatively straightforward. Whether you prefer the flexibility of renting a car or the affordability of public transportation, there's a suitable option for every traveler. Renting a car, taking a taxi, using a ride-sharing service, taking a bus, renting a car. Renting a car offers the most flexibility, allowing you to explore Costa Rica on your own terms. Before hitting the road, it's important to be aware of the mandatory insurance requirements in Costa Rica. Renting a car might seem a bit expensive initially, but it can turn out to be a cost-effective and convenient option in the long run, especially when split among a group, public transportation, and shuttles. For those on a tight budget or looking for an eco-friendly option, public transportation and shuttles are a good choice. You can take a public bus from San Jose to Tarcolis, then grab a taxi to the bridge. Alternatively, Tourist shuttles offer comfortable, air-conditioned rides from selected hotels and San Jose Airport. Accommodation near Crocodile Bridge. You'll need a place to relax and recharge after a day of adventure at the Crocodile Bridge. Luckily, the area offers a range of accommodation options, from beachfront hotels and all-inclusive resorts to mountain lodges. Whether you're looking for luxury or budget accommodation, you'll find a variety of options to suit your needs. Summary
In conclusion, the Crocodile Bridge in Costa Rica offers an unparalleled wildlife spectacle that is sure to leave a lasting impression on any visitor. From the thrill of seeing the world's highest population of crocodiles in their natural habitat to exploring the surrounding area's rich biodiversity, there's something for everyone. Whether you're a nature enthusiast, a thrill seeker, or a casual traveler, the Crocodile Bridge is a must-visit attraction in Costa Rica. So why wait? Plan your visit and experience the thrill of the Crocodile Bridge today.